Good morning. I say good morning, but it's 1.30 p.m. But I just finished my cappuccino and I'm ready to start have, having a day now. My studio is a complete mess. So here's what I did yesterday. I painted the rest of this desk. This desk is a hand-me-down from my former roommate. But I'm getting another hand-me-down tomorrow, which is really exciting. Uh, my boyfriend's old stationary computer, which is going to be great because my old laptop is very tired. She just doesn't want to do it most of the time. Maybe I should show my face. Hello. I get into a uh, class this fall semester, which, thank fuck, I wasn't sure what, what I was going to do. So I've been a bit stressed about that. But I got into something, so, and it's a class on uh, doing 3D modeling and animation in Blender. So I need a computer <laughs> that can run Blender. Um, and my mom is going to help me pick up the computer tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's exciting stuff. This also means that I can play video games. Um, which I will try not to do too much because time, but still very exciting. Um, so, so that's what I've been doing. Other points of interest, I need to work on this baby. I would love to finish this before school starts. I'm never gonna have to show my food in another vlog again because this is what I eat pretty much every day. Easy noodles, some vegetables from the freezer, and pour hot water from the kettle over it, wait a few minutes for the noodles to soak, and that is a meal for the tired person who wants to use their energy for other things. Perhaps I shouldn't have used pink pen to write on pink paper. Oh well. Here are some portrait studies that I did yesterday in my anatomy sketchbook. Still using this one pencil. One day there will be a video from me entitled How many drawings can you do with one pencil? And uh, the answer may surprise you. Oh no, my worst drawing I've ever made. Oh no, a penis. This is a good spread. We can look at this. Right now I need to go out in the heat and get my package with a monitor. Which is gonna cost all my money. But it's okay, because I am gonna get at least a little student loans and we're gonna make it work. It's so flippin' hot. I showered yesterday and I'm already so gross. I just... I, but I have my monitor now. I don't have a mouse or a keyboard though. So maybe tomorrow or some other day this week I will finally have a stationary computer. Now I'm gonna drink water. I have this box of odd ends of sticker paper from when I printed stickers and I don't want to waste it so I sometimes when I feel like doing something but don't have a lot of brain energy I write little labels to 
stick on packages and uh, envelopes and things. So I've just been doing that and uh, listen to the end of an audiobook. Hello! Let's talk about the book I read. I don't have energy to hold the camera up at a good angle, so maybe it's gonna be my channel thing to film at unflattering angles. Anyway, I uh, also the lighting is bad because it's evening now and I didn't really get much done today because the few things I did made me really tired. But that's okay. It's a new day tomorrow. I need to accept that I am disabled. It's okay. Anyway, the book is called Pretend I'm Dead um, by Jen Began. And the reason I, uh, I got it, I borrowed it from the library to Libby, is because it had the word working class in the blurb. And it said that the main character, Mona, is trying to find self-acceptance in her working class world. She works as a cleaning lady and falls in love with a heroin addict. And uh, yeah, it, it sounded kind of miserable. And then I read the book and it was even more miserable because it's more than anything about her grappling with her childhood trauma. But she does so in a really like distanced and kind of, I want to say sardonic. I think that's the right word. Sardonic. Sar sar I, I can't do this. Sardonic. Okay. I think that's the right word. Maybe it isn't. But yeah, she just, she's kind of distanced to everything. And uh, so it's a very, it's a very, very much a character driven book, which I tend to enjoy this and I did kind of enjoy this book I gave it a three out of five stars I think it's it was fine it was pretty good there were just so many miserable things and I ha I was hoping that it would explore the theme of class a bit more not that I'm not interested in childhood trauma explorations but because she's so like stunted that isn't really explored in a way that worked for me personally but i know there's a sequel i don't know if i'm going to be reading that but yeah there's a lot of stuff like the trigger warnings for this book would include Drug addiction, obviously, suicide, depression in general, child sexual abuse, other addictions, I think gambling, and alcoholism, and self-harm. It's, it's a lot. But yeah, that was that book. Maybe I'll have more energy when I have a cup of tea and get back to the painting I have in the back of my mind. It's a bit of a break from the, the big work in progress. I want to participate in a giveaway competition kind of thing where you can win some art supplies. If you uh, paint or draw a cover for your favorite book, and I think I want to do Perdido Street Station by China Miero, which I have talked about on my channel before. So I'm not going to get into it. But I don't really have time. 
I shouldn't be doing it, but I really want to. Because I, I have a, a commission for a patron to work on as well. Uh, a pet portrait, which is really fun. Because I did a summer special offer thing. Uh, so uh, everyone who pledged or was pledged before July 31st, so old patrons and new patrons, got like a special gift depending on which uh, tier you have and for the $20 patrons their special gift was a commission because that's a really big support and uh, it means a lot to me and I wanted to do a big extra nice thing and I'm excited to draw more pets that's something I need to get better at because I would love to like have pet portrait commissions open sometimes um, but I feel like I need to practice more also in general with my art right now I feel like I need to not make things for other people and double down on practicing fundamentals which obviously I always need to practice fundamentals, but right now I feel like I'm kind of stagnating. So I feel like I need to level up. It's time to take take the next to take it to the next level, um, and keep uh, keep growing. I don't know. I I just I don't see a lot of growth in the past couple months. Which again, like maybe. Maybe it's fair, considering that I haven't been doing well at all, health-wise, but... Mm, I want to get better. So if I do drawing... I'm just, I'm just rambling, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I, I will... <laughs> I guess I'll let you know. <laughs> So I made two mistakes yesterday. One of them was that I got a blister on my finger from opening paint tubes. The other one was that I didn't film pouring gouache paint into this Stay Wet palette. So you uh, soak this sponge thing in water and it keeps the paints wet. Is the idea. I I was too into the audiobook. I was just gonna listen while I picked out the paints and then film while I poured but I just kind of forgot because I was into the book. So I'm sorry about that. Then I was also gonna paint something premiering this part 
of a dish rack that I found in my storage room that I'm gonna use as a palette. It's a perfect palette, but I ended up being too tired to paint. So all around, not a great day. But you, you did see me do some drawing at least, practicing some profiles because the profiles are the weakest point of this painting and I need to do some work on those, uh, fix them, make them good or better at least. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm about to go pick up the, um, the keyboard and mouse and set up my new old computer. And then I must continue painting, which will be I guess another video, maybe, hopefully. I don't know, I like I like vlogging because it makes me feel less lonely. So I should really do that more. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope this was somewhat entertaining. And uh, extra thank you to my patrons as usual. I love you guys as a friend. And everyone take care of yourselves. Read Lenin, stay safe. Wash your hands and goodbye.